hello everyone. Uh, my name's Tim Green. I'm the Features Editor of The Math, and uh, I hope you're all enjoying the future of Mobile Summit. I'm delighted to introduce Igor Skutsenia, who's the Senior Business Development Manager at Lank Telecom. Uh, Lank is one of the world's biggest uh, voice and messaging carriers. He's also a big supporter of MEF and sponsored many of our activities across Mobile World Congress. So we've got about a 15-minute session, and we're going to hear from Igor, who's going to be talking about the, uh, the Lank story and some of the issues that the industry is facing, and then maybe have a time for one, one or two questions at the end. So over to you. Thank you very much. Uh, Tim and um, so uh, the title of the of the, of the session is how the link evolved from the transit carrier to uh, an cloud solution vendor and a very short explicit spoiler alert is right on the screen we did that through innovative AI driven fraud management uh, to kind of give a perspective how did we do it because uh, it's uh, easier said than done uh, we will explore how, exactly what led us to the development of the solution what did we do what did we encounter and uh, what do we have today? So, uh, Lang Telecom was uh, founded in 2001, so we're uh, slightly over 20 years old. Uh, we're a global company, uh, terminating billions of uh, international SMS, terminating billions of minutes of international voice. And uh, as you can see, we have a, a, quite a worldwide presence, a lot of partners, many of whom are in this room, and we're very happy to be working with you. So the thing is, um, along with, uh, with the growth of our business, along with the amount of the messages and amount of uh, international voice minutes that we uh, process, uh, obviously came the, the challenge of uh, facing fraudsters, sadly. And we understood that uh, something must be done, uh, and uh, we obviously assessed the resources that we have, what is out there in the market, how do we approach this, do we uh, like do it in-house, or do we uh, buy some, some external solution? So. And what led us is just the realization that we can do it in-house because we actually understand uh, what the industry requires, what do we require internally. And uh, we essentially became the, 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 the biggest critic and the, the, obviously the best client for our own product. So we became uh, a telecom company and an anti-fraud solution developer uh, throughout, obviously not overnight, we started off creating uh, our internal system uh, around eight years ago. And at, at first, it was the, just the statistics that we processed. We just realized how the fosters operate, how to encounter them, what, what kind of techniques they use, uh, what do they do, what do they look for, uh, for in the uh, potential victim. And obviously, we were looking for the ways in the industry to most effectively counter that with as little false positives as possible. Uh, but also uh, the quickest way, the most precise way, and uh, essentially the best way to counter fraud that, that is basically going along as, as you grow as, as a business. So what happens is we develop uh, in-house mathematical models and deep learning AI algorithms to just to realize uh, that you know you can do it the old way, the CDR analysis, CDR upload way, where you upload data and then you analyze it and then you maybe discuss it with a partner internally and then you make the call. Meanwhile, the damage is already sustained. Meanwhile, you uh, you know you spend all those resources uh, by very very uh, skilled pros uh, that perhaps could be doing some other th some other things. So we just realized that if we do AI, if we reflect the statistics that we have, if we reflect the knowledge that we have, the expertise through a machine learning unit, through neural network that would analyze those parameters instead of humans. Uh, we will save a ton of uh, a ton of time, which meaning we will diminish uh, the the fraud expenses that we sustain. And uh, obviously, the, the the automatic tool also works 24/7, 365 days uh, days a year. And this is a very very nice thing to have. And what led us is that once we realized that the product is that good, that this the thing that we developed um, over time that we owned and we uh, sharpened uh, against fraudsters, became that good that it could become an external product. It could become something that we offer to our partners, whether directly or uh, by becoming a solution vendor. So essentially, this quote from, by Jack Levis from uh, UPS is essentially reflects the transformation that we faced when we were uh, going through this process. We used to be, they used to be a trucking company with technology, now we're a technology company with trucks. 
just like we used to be just a transit carrier, and now we are essentially a solution vendor, a tech company that also happens to process a lot of uh, international voice and SMS. So the, the key advantages that we have, um, obviously the real-time signal level protection, we realize internally, because if uh, we have fraud expenses, th this, this is our money lost, not our clients or, or something like it. We sustain those losses, so we needed to make the reaction time as, uh, as fast as possible. So this is why the system is signaling based and we analyze active calls in real time and we can basically break active calls uh, uh, in, in, in real time as well. We can react instantly. Uh, the developed, we, we also have in-house developed deep learning algorithms and mathematical modules. With the size of our business, with the variety of markets that we work at, it's super easy for us to collect the statistics, to encounter different scenarios in different situations, different enterprise or, or operator victims of, of, of fraud, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. We can learn worldwide and make sure that the scenarios that we encounter in one part of the world, we can protect our partners in another part of the world before the scenario actually emerges there. Uh, the deep expertise in fraud analysis means that uh, we're also analyzing uh, a lot of different fraud scenarios. So we're not just concentrating on our biggest pain. We just realized that this tool, this AI that we developed is good enough to countering uh, not only, for example, PBX hack, but it can also encounter uh, spam, encounter robocalls, uh, encounter one Gary attack. And uh, as we will uh, talk about a bit furthermore, it can even discover the new fraud scenarios that we didn't think about before. So an exceptional performance of fraud detection methods are also, this is, this is something that we're extremely proud of. Not only we created the tool, we're making sure that it's, it's working flawlessly and uh, well, almost flawlessly. There's, there's, there's never a 100% uh, success rate, but 99.92% uh, success rate in discovering uh, fraud in real time is, is uh, the, the, the threshold that we, that we have right now. So, as I mentioned before, our machine learning unit also helped us to discover a new fraud scenario that we tell about, that we uh, talk about in all the anti-fraud associations we're a part of, and CFCA, GSMA, FASG, I3 Forum, et cetera, et cetera. We're very happy to share this knowledge and make sure that everyone knows what's, uh, what's out there. So this one Geary 2.0 is the fraud scenario that we discovered, and uh, so what happens is the fraudsters, they generate multiple call me back requests from uh, to, 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 the, to the pages where uh, people are asking for help with, uh, with the product and service if they have trouble with it, or they would like a certain entity to contact them and try to sell their products or services. Uh, notoriously large international banks are a victim of this scam, and sadly e-commerce sites uh, and tech giants that we all know and talk about on a daily basis, they're also encountering that fraud as well, sadly. So what happens is uh, they leave the call me back request with some simple message that says, please contact me uh, on, on this very expensive PRS number or hijack international number. And uh, obviously the help desk, for, they, they don't have a telecom background. They perhaps don't have the tools to consult with and use to counter that. And uh, what happens is they reach out to the, to the damsel in distress, so to speak, and they try to help. They introduce themselves very politely and they're trying to you know, build an image of a reliable product or service provider and do a beautiful job staying on the line and making sure that fraudsters get paid sadly. Uh, so what happens is um, the, the, the same thing that happens sometimes with, uh, with the original one Gary is just that the victim is a little different with the original one Gary. It's the, the retail users, just the individual customers instead of enterprises. And in the original one Gary, the lure, the bait that the fraudsters use is the missed call instead of the, the call me back form filled by the, by the fraudster. And this is exactly what happens when we, when we discover that. We basically saw that the machine learning unit uh, points out that, that this, is, this is fraud. And we did a lot of research to, to prove to everybody else that it entirely is a fraud scenario. So um, the telecom market challenges that we face today is obviously 
that you know we specifically need this tool, especially need this tool in the dire times for the voice business. Uh, telecoms must provide more value with their voice services, and, and we see the demand for international voice is declining. We don't need another ch uh, other challenges in terms of fraudsters or, or any other of those. Uh, the competition is the need for evolution um, of the business, uh, which is how we provide better service, we provide added value with additional security to the voice services of, uh, for our partners. Sadly, the fraudsters are getting better and limit the business on dangerous destinations and this tool would allow businesses to proceed and to do business on the dangerous very expensive destinations because they know that they will have sufficient protection by doing uh, while doing that in terms of just providing the executive summary as for how we did it and uh, like what are the features and what are the scenarios that we encounter with uh, our anti-fraud unit is uh, it works both for inbound and outbound international and local traffic, and we're very happy to have more than 150 clients to date that are using those, including the, some of the government agencies that process international traffic, and they're very much satisfied with functionality. Uh, Real-time data processing and blocking commands is, uh, I think, that should become a, a, an industry standard that we encourage everyone to follow because this, this is how you decrease your, your phone expenses by a lot. Um, no additional latency in call setup because we don't need, we would like to provide additional value, not additional latency and uh, additional uh, you know, quality issues. Uh, and uh, convenient, highly customizable UI is, is basically, uh, the, this, this is how businesses uh, are winning, through actually providing a better user experience and better user interface, just uh, enabling the user use the uh, all the tools with the, with the full capacity. Uh, for the AI, ML, uh, and machine learning model characteristics, as we said before, real-time signaling processing is, we think, the, 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 again, the industry standard. Using AI to analyze some signaling is, is something that saves us and uh, our partners a lot of, uh, a lot of resources. Real-time blocking of voice attacks, obviously, something that we, uh, we are achieving in this regard. Uh, detection and prevention of multiple fraud scenarios, not just a chosen few, but also, but just the variety of those robocalls, one Gary flash calls, IRSF and NRSF, uh, P2S fraud, uh, one Gary 2.0, PBX hacking, with a top accuracy exceeding 99.9%. Uh, so this this is essentially the characteristics of our um, our current AI tool, and since we are becoming a, a full scale solution vendor. Uh, we're introducing the, uh, another tech that is called Call Validation Module, uh, which is essentially designed to counter interconnect bypass, uh, CLI spoofing, uh, robocalls that are generated somewhere in the cloud of transit carriers, uh, um, and call stretching, short stopping, uh, OTT bypass, and obviously the, the ones that are already covered by, by AI as well, meaning robocalls and PBX hacking. So, this is this is what we have, and this is what we're bringing to the to the industry, and we're we're happy to do it. Thank you very much. Thank well, thank you very much, Igor. Um, we've got one minute forty-five for questions. So, uh, is there a question from the audience? Because if not, I have one. So, okay, I'm going to crack on. Oh, we've got one quick question here. Thanks. Hello, Igor. Thank you for the presentation. Uh, are you working with uh, SMS fraud cases? Are you working um, with thank you. Uh, we are developing the tool that uh, obviously utilizes both AI and validation. Uh, our AI, since we have this much success with uh, with our voice business, we are developing an alike tool for, for SMS. Obviously, the scenarios are a little different. The parameters analyzed are a little different with voices like uh, over 200 parameters uh, for voice traffic and for SMS, God only knows how many. So uh, this, this is essentially yes. Can I just ask, um, Igor, what, what, what makes machine learning the best approach for detecting fraud? Um, the fraud, well, I mean, the fraud damage is basically, uh, you know, rising with time and as, as fast and as accurate your reaction towards fraud is. This is essentially the, the the way you, you, you get fraudsters out of your voice traffic. And AI does just that. It's very, very accurate and it's super fast in doing that. Right. 
Okay, well, there's plenty more we can talk about. Um, obviously, there's plenty of resources on your website, and we'll be hearing lots more from you because uh, you're a very, very committed member of the MEF and all their activities. So we, we are, we've run out of time now, but um, thank you so much, Igor, for joining us. Please, if you want to share your appreciation.